Two big tech stories today, and we've got John Redinger from technobuffalo.com to help us sort it all out. All right, John, first of all, what's this I hear about a smaller iPad? Is it for real? So we've been hearing rumors of different iPad sizes for years. Actually, in Walter Isaacson's biography on Steve Jobs, they said that they were testing this rumored iPad mini or this 8-inch tablet. But now we're hearing that Apple is getting ready to finally unveil two iPad sizes. Wall Street Journal reported it first this morning. Uh, an 8-inch variant, which is 1.7 inches smaller than the 9.7-inch iPad that we currently have on the market. So, you know, there was a time when I looked at those little tiny screens and I thought that nobody would ever watch anything on a screen that small. Now I watch stuff all the time on a screen that small. So do you would, would make the value judgment. A smaller screen iPad, you think it will be a success? So I think uh, Apple grossly underestimated the success of what was going to be uh, that smaller size that we saw with the Amazon Kindle Fire. Now certainly the Fire hasn't, for well, lack of a better word, set the world ablaze, but there is a market for that smaller size, and that smaller size is also probably going to represent a lower entry price point uh, into the iPad world. Mm. It also gets you mm. into the Apple ecosystem, which of course, you know, that, that just prints money. Now I want your comment on a new Sony product. It's getting ready to release a brand new handheld video game console. Yes. Getting some pretty good reviews from the geeks as I understand it and it's called the, uh, P the PS Vita. You hold it in your yep. hand, you play games, it's an entertainment console, do whatever you want with it all over the place. Uh, what do you hear about it? So it's a dedicated gaming uh, console, uh, portable. It's a successor to the original um, PlayStation Portable uh, that we saw, or PSP. So mobile gaming is a huge industry. 42.5% uh, of the U.S. populations play mobile games. But the big question here is whether or not folks are going to want to continue to purchase a dedicated gaming console when they can get all their games or a lot of their games, yeah. uh, the casual games, on their mobile phone or tablet. Yeah, that's right. Why should I buy uh, one of these Vita things and do on it exactly the same that I can already do on an iPhone or a Droid? I mean, what's the point? Sure. So Sony's hoping their $50 million launch campaign is going to help educate us. So this console is going to run you $249 or $299. You're going to get PS3 level graphics. You're going to be able to sort of take your PlayStation games with you wherever you go. And Sony's banking on that hardcore gamer that's really going to want that better graphic experience and more in-depth gameplay and longer games. Now, interestingly enough, they've also added more cell phone casual game experience uh, to the PS Vita. So you've got a built-in web browser in there. Is this uh, stuff that your phone also does. I mean, you know, I, I, always, I tend to think that Sony's tailed off a lot in, in recent years. Uh, is this enough to get them back on track as a, a, a tech leader? You know, it's going to be a tough one to see. Um, you can already see the dedicated um, gaming industry sort of start to taper down. It's $10.7 billion in 2010, but in 2008, just two years earlier, it was an $18.1 billion business. Hmm. So that piece of the pie is getting smaller and smaller. There are always going to be people out there, the early adopters, your lead users, that are going to want this gaming console, going to want that immersive gaming. But those that are looking to say, well, I could spend $250 on you know, a smaller tablet, or I can spend an extra $200 and get an iPad, had, you know, for that $500 price point and get everything, uh, it's going to be a difficult sell for Sony, and hopefully their $50 million campaign is going to educate a lot of people. All right, John Rediger, you know your stuff, and thanks for joining us again. We appreciate it. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you for much. having me.